Day 30. Um, so far, it's been a little bit stressful, but I have had worse. What with the wreck in the last week, it's, it got a little bit tougher there for a second, but I had to keep reminding myself that a cigarette wouldn't help. After the cigarette, my arm would still be killing me. I'd still have to walk around with a cane, but that helped keep me strong by reminding myself that it's really not going to do anything in the end of the day. It's not going to make me feel better because a cigarette is a stimulant. Even if I wanted to relax, a cigarette's not going to let allow you to relax completely. You may feel like you're relaxed, but that little bit that you don't get starts building up more and more over time, and that's why you feel exhausted all the time. I'd say for the first couple of weeks that was the hardest because it was so fresh on the mind that I used to smoke a pack a day and it had just stopped like that even with the gum even with using the vape pen here and there to replace it you still want to go back and that craving is real and aggravating to avoid but a month is a good milestone i've noticed my energy coming back ridiculously well like i have a lot of extra energy that i didn't have well i did prior to the wreck but the pain medicine has pretty much killed that but once the arm heals the energy will come back getting off the pain meds is not going to be fun but that can be a quit series of its own. The main methods I've used to get this far is I have the counseling through text message that I got through my work. My work has been supplying me with the nicotine gum. I've been vaping here and there. And I've also been using the Reddit Stop Smoking. And I'm going to upload this video and link it in that subreddit. And if you're watching from the subreddit, thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe for more videos like it. And if you feel like you need any help that you think that I could give you, feel free to reach out to me through the comments on either Reddit or YouTube. I also always leave, I also leave all my information for other sites like Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch in the description below. So feel free to reach out to me through those. Because I want to be able to help out anybody I can through any way I can. I did learn tonight that changing fitted sheets with one arm is a lot more stressful than it is with two. Because I had to uh, change out the sheets on my bed and it's aggravating with two arms. It just... Uh, I'm complaining about nothing. But... Basically, a month is a good milestone. There's still going to be temptations to go back. That's unavoidable. But we do got this. We did make it this far. And if you do smoke one cigarette, that's not the end of the world. I've luckily been able to avoid it. But one thing the subreddit has taught me is that a lot of people build up so bad in their mind that if they smoke just one cigarette it screws up everything no you've made progress already you were able to quit a decent amount of time before you went back to smoking and you can do it again you just gotta keep coming at it you gotta keep on trying and you've got to have that willpower that gumption to keep on pushing you're gonna have to sink your feet into the mud a couple of times but you can do this and i know a lot of people out there have a lot worse than me. I was in this wreck. I've been having family problems outside of everything. And life has been stressful the last month of its own volition. Having nothing to do with the cigarettes. But I was able to push through it. And I'm going to keep pushing through it. And that's all you can do. Because the rewards at the end of this... The rewards of staying clean is just so much than just saving a little money on the cigarette packs, saving money on health insurance premiums. You also have your health. You also have your mind. Because I've noticed, because I've noticed when I was smoking, my mind started to get a little foggy. It wasn't like stupid, stupid, but 
I felt like I wasn't performing at my best. And that's mainly, that's one of the main reasons I quit. I like being able to have my mind at the peak it can be. And I've noticed that fogginess clear up a good bit. I don't know if it's the same thing for everybody else. Everybody probably has their own unique experience quitting. But for me, it has helped me think so much better. It has helped me feel so much better. Just the other day before the crash happened, I was doing 20 to 30 push-ups without breaking a sweat, without getting tired. And I hadn't been able to do that in a long time. Now, it's going to be a while before I get back to that, but it's not because of stopping smoking. It's because of the wreck. But while I have my downtime, I'm going to work on my hobbies. I'm going to improve my channel as best I can. If you like the new set setup, let, tell me in the comments below because... I'd really like your input. I'm trying to make it look as visually pleasing as possible. And um, that's why I got the new setup. I went to Walmart, bought a tripod, and uh, eventually I want to get a actual video camera. But for right now, I just have my phone. And I had been using the front-facing camera because I can look at myself and make sure I'm centered. Right now I'm using, since I have the tripod, I'm using the rear face camera because it's more powerful. Um, but now I'm just rambling. Anyway, if you think this video has helped you in any ways, if you want to see more of it, like, comment, subscribe. And if you're quitting yourself, feel free to reach out to me. And most importantly, have a wonderful day and keep strong.